What's going on guys? Phil here for Phil's Craft Corner. Today I'm going to talk about this blade supply that I got supplied from Kitronic. This is a UK supplier. This is 3mm birch plywood and as you can see it's a little bit wobbly, a little bit bendy, which all plywood is. Uh, I do have this sat on a surface with something flat holding it to the top. So Kitronic sends this uh, little magazine catalogue with the devices and it just shows you all the stuff that they sell in there. So like you can get 5mm bamboo, solid pressed bamboo, all kinds of different acrylics in different shades and pastels, mirrored acrylics, uh, glass, uh, glittered acrylics. They also sell the light fittings um, that you can make your own bases for to go with the acrylics, so that's pretty good as well. The prices are pretty cheap. So I got the Economy Birch Plywood, and in here it says the 600 by 400 which I got and then cut down into 400 by 300s. I bought 10 sheets and it ended up £2.10 per sheet plus delivery. Delivery from these guys is usually next day and it's about £6 or something on top of whatever you pay. Uh, so in total that was just under £30 for the 10 sheets of 60 by 40 but I cut them down into 40 by 30s. So we're going to go over to the laser, we're going to give it a test, we're going to see how it engraves, how it cuts, uh, whether or not I need to use masking tape on there to get decent engravings, and we're just going to have a bit of a play and see what I think about the material. So far I'm quite happy, there's not that many knots or voids from what I can see around the edges and things like that, which is a major issue with plywood. So this is the birch plywood that I got from there and as you can see around the edges there's a void just there and there's a tiny little bit there but um, that's not too bad for what it is. The void on the side there is only a tiny little one. I'm assuming there's probably one here where this little knot is. Uh, you got an A and a B side, so one side's better than the other side, is what they say. So like this side will probably be the back side, and this side would be the front side. So just have a quick check of which side you are using to which side you have facing up. Now this is a piece of 4mm plywood that I got from my local lumber yard. And this is classed as external or marine plywood, uh, it's soft wood finish and as you can see it's slightly darker than the birch, a little bit heavier, a little bit denser and it's a bit stronger, it's less, they're less flimsy. This stuff is a pain to cut though because of all the voids and stuff in the middle and you don't always get through, you get very very inconsistent results with this which is why I shied away from using plywood and I moved on to MDF. MDF is a much smoother finish on the top and you get very very consistent results throughout using MDF. So we're going to get over to laser, we're going to test out this plywood from Kitronic and we're going to see how it performs. Hopefully I'm quite impressed with it because the only reason I got this is uh, a customer requested me to use birch plywood because it was easier for them to paint rather than the MDF. We're going to see how it turns out and hopefully we have some good results. Alright guys, so we're over at the laser and as you see there's a tiny little bit of flex there. Um, it's not too bad. Uh, the MDF that I use is probably quite similar. It's not going to make that much difference and it doesn't really go. It maybe goes up a millimetre. Um, so it's not going to make too much difference, especially not in the area where I am going to be engraving which as you can see is just in that top corner there. I have this focused in to the top of the board for engraving which should be fine for cutting as well because you've got enough tolerance there. So let's do the engrave and the cut test both at the same time. I have them set up in a light burn and we'll get that started and see how it turns out.
right guys that was quite impressive strangely enough I didn't want to cut the outside of that one so I'm quite impressed with the speed and power on the cuts so as you can see it cuts at 30% power 18 millimeters a second nice and easy I'm probably going to up these speeds to see how far I can take it although the outside cut here was 8 millimeters a second at 30% power uh, so as you can see it should cut through and it's at the lowest scale but uh, I hit one of those voids here as you can see and that kind of messes up your cut which is uh, a bit of an issue with plywood and yeah I mean it's probably not that much of a big issue like I say this is the economy stuff so there's probably more voids in this than the others so uh, I'm going to up these speeds and we're going to test how far that can go with the engraving uh, I kind of made a little bit of mistake on this 250 as I was scrolling through the settings on Lightburn I must have hovered over the drop down box for this one and scrolled a little bit and changed it to an offset fill instead of a standard fill um, as you can see when you get down to the higher speed the higher power you're probably going to need to start masking off because you're getting a bit of the back burn but that can probably sanded or cleaned off the writing was engraved at 125 millimeters a second at 13 percent power so that's even slower than this one but I do like the 150 it does come out quite well and obviously I need to use very little power on there to get a decent engraving so let's now go back over to Lightburn I'm going to change these I'm going to start this at 18 from here and then again I'm going to increase in two, milli two millimeters a second in of rules going across here so we're going to be 18 20 24 22 24 26 28 so uh, let's see how that cuts So, I even did this in the section that was raised up to make it even more difficult to cut through because it was it was a bit more out of focus. So, as you can see from the back, these ones just didn't get there enough, but I can cut at 22 24% at 24 22 to 24 mm a second at 40 percent power. Um that's in the bit where it was raised up so it was about a millimetre out of focus and the outside cut because there was no voids in that part was really nice it's actually a really nice cut there's hardly any soot left on there um, it's pretty good uh, I'm quite happy with this material and uh, I'll probably use it for more projects in the future like mandalas and things and like that so if you like this video guys if it helped if it informed you anyway uh, if you've used Kitronic before, let me know what you think of them down below. I'm really pleased with their service so far. If you use Laser Ply and you think there's a better supplier out there or a cheaper one, let me know down below. I'll certainly give them a try. If you want me to test any materials or anything like that, let me know what you want to see me testing and I'll see if I can get hold of something and give that a try too. I always like to do an engrave and a cut at the same time of the same material because then I get more 
have an idea of what I'm doing. Um, I use settings for a similar material, say like I, I started with the cut that I'd use for the MDF and then I just went up with the speed from there. Uh, the minimum, the maximum cut I use for 4mm MDF is 8mm a second at 40% power. So I kind of started there and then I went down 10% with the power and then I went up 2mm a second with the cuts. And that gives me a good starting point and a good place to go from. Uh, I was not expecting to have to change the file because this lets me cut so fast, but uh, yeah, really, really pleased. The engraving I'd probably go for is 200mm a second at 13% power. Uh, I'm quite happy with that. I might even drop it down to 150 if I wanted some wanted it to be a bit clearer. The bottom one was 200mm a second at 13% power. Uh, like I say, if I wanted it a bit clearer, I'd drop that down to 150 or put the power up to maybe even 14% power because the difference between those two, just on 2% power, is a big difference. So thanks for watching guys, I will see you in the next video.